Welcome to Channel Game IQ. In today's episode, we are going to kick off June and jump on our bike with Pro Cycling Manager 2020. As always, we'll be looking at the gameplay and talking about the details of the game. Just before we start, if you've missed any of my previous videos, you can use the link above. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be prompted as and when new videos are uploaded. Now, let's get pedaling with Pro Cycling Manager 2020. Become the manager of a cycling team and take them to the top. You will need to manage finances and recruitment, plan your training, implement your strategy and move for this edition, look after your cyclists and their morale. Pro Cycling Manager 2020 is a series of cycling management and a retail simulation game created by Cyanide Studios and published by Nacon. The game was first launched in 2001 as a cycling manager, but the series took on Pro Label in June 2005. A new version is released every year to coincide with the Tour de France. The game is set to be released on the 4th of June for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. You will take on Peloton in over 230 races and 650 stages from the Tour de France to La Vuelta to the classic events of the World Tour calendar. You must listen to the request of your cyclists and either agree to them or decline. You are the manager, only you can make the decisions that will maintain balance in your team and motivate your cyclists in crucial moments while trying to achieve the best results for your team. You can also play as your own cyclist and pursue a career to the high summit in pro cyclist mode. And when you've proved yourself in career mode, you can play online mode with up to 15 other players from all over the world. So let's have a look at what's new in the 2020 edition. The 21 official stages of the Tour de France 2020. Career mode where you will manage the morale of your cyclists. They will make requests and your decision will affect their morale and performance. The transfer window is also crucial for maintaining balance within your team. Motivation during races. In each race, the motivation of your cyclist is linked to morale and the key events such as wearing a jersey, winning in the previous stage. A fully motivated cyclist can excel in pivotal moments in the race, including an accelerating peloton and preparation for the final sprint. You will also have a new assistant to help you plan your races, a redesigned dashboard and an improved AI that is more aggressive and adventurous than ever. So the big question is, will you make the right decisions and take your team to the top? As always, leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this game and if you've played any of the previous games as well. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Keep an eye out for my next video or better still, if you haven't already, subscribe and ring the bell to be prompted as and when new videos are released. There's some amazing games coming out in June that I'm going to be covering, so don't miss out. Do subscribe and hit that bell. Until the next time, thanks for watching Channel Game IQ.